Hi, this is Andrea Warchaser, and I'm going to be demonstrating the photo match feature found in SketchUp using uh, the guidelines put out in the article in Timber Framing 125 titled Photogrammetry 2017. I'm using as my example project the Sandown Meeting House. Here's a photo of it. And I'm going to be importing this photo to match my SketchUp drawing. So the first thing I've done is just draw a box of known width and length that matches the building I'm going to be matching. Uh, the height in this example, I've just picked any height and uh, I'll be adjusting that as I go along. So I've got my box drawn and I'm taking a view that's approximately the same view angle as what I have in the photo here. And I'm going to go up and start the photo match now. I go to camera menu, match new photo, pick that photo I want, and uh, there it is. And you can see that the uh, X, Y, and Z axes are quite a jumble, or as in SketchUp, the red, green, and blue axis are in a jumble. First thing I'm going to do is adjust my origin point, or my Z axis, to the corner of the building just to give a good frame of reference. And I'm going to very roughly bring the red and green axes in line with something on the model that I would guess is a level line or aligned with those X and Y axes. I'm going to fine tune it in a minute, but I just want to get close. <clears throat> so you can see that now things are starting to line up. The box is not quite the same size as the building, but the axes are, everything is starting to look a little more proper. Let's get these lined up and picking what axes or what features on the photo to align to is an art in itself, especially with an older building that may or may not be plum, level, square. I'm choosing these windows just as my best guess at what might be a level line in the building. From observing the building, I certainly don't want to use the roof. However, and you'll see in a minute, I also suspect that this building, um, that the walls uh, are out of plumb. And you'll see that in just a minute as I get these aligned here. I think that's pretty good for now. Um, but my box that I've drawn, which are these black lines, does not quite line up with the building. So I'm going to grab one of these axis, li axis lines at the bottom here and just zoom out until I have a pretty good match for dimension on both sides. Now as I look at it, I can see my box was drawn perfectly uh, plumb. You can see that uh, this is not quite matching up here, but it's not a question of the scale. It, it does look to me that maybe this, this wall is um, out of plumb and leaning in. And again, looking at my blue line or my z-axis, that seems to confirm it. So I can mess around with these uh, a little bit and get maybe a little bit better, a little bit more aligned. You can see if I just move this a tiny bit, it's going to have quite an effect on the overall alignment. Um, as I go along, I can go back and realign these photos if I have additional information. Now one thing you could do as you're taking your photos in the field is project uh, level lines right onto the building. But again, if the building, uh, if the walls are not plumb, uh, you're not going to get properly plumb and level lines on the building that way either. I'm going to click on done to signify that I'm done with the photo match. And there's my matched building. Now as soon as I orbit away in SketchUp, I lose the view of that uh, photo. It's not like the photo itself can rotate. Here I am back on it. So to start to build my model, I can't just start clicking on corners here. These photo, uh, the elements in the photo are not keyed into anything else at this point. What I need to do is start building right off of this drawing itself. Let's give an example of uh, maybe trying to figure out uh, the pitch of this gable end. I can guess 
<laughs> that the uh, peak of the roof is in the center of the building, that this is all even. Although again, I can see because if, uh, if I'm guessing that this uh, wall is not exactly plumb, I'm not gonna have exactly the alignment that I want. But let me draw a line up, just straight up in the, in the Z axis from the center line of that line that denoted the box. And if I zoom in here, I can see it's not quite lined up with the center line of the building. Again, um, if I want to go back to uh, matching the photo, maybe try moving this uh, origin point so that it more closely matches at the top, at least for this part. That way I can maybe uh, be clear that the center line of the, there we go, the center line of the gable does match up. Let's see if that gave me a better result. Still need to maybe do a little bit more zooming in and out to get that just right. And you can see how there's a lot of play that comes into play. If I mess around with this over here, now this wall is a little bit out, but I'm going to use this as I've just realigned just to start to get the layout of my roof line. So if I want to sketch now along that roof line, I still don't have something that's going to pinpoint this edge of the roof, but I can do the same thing here. I can draw a line up really anywhere I've just picked, straight vertical, up to nowhere. But now I know that these two lines are right on the same plane as that front gable of the building. So if I pick a line from the perceived peak there down to something that lines up with that line that I've drawn, now I have a line, if I look at this in three dimensions, that is in plane with the, with the wall below, and I can start to measure what that roof line is. Now a quick check as to whether all of this is in proper alignment would be to mirror that line around in the other direction. Let's do that. This is a little plug-in that uh, I use. You can get that from the uh, extensions warehouse and it's pretty close. It's not quite right on which means that maybe my photo matching isn't quite right. Um, maybe I need to cheat the lines a little bit again if that uh, wall is out of plumb it's not going to look the same on both sides but it starts to give me some information about the layout of that roof. I'm going to jump ahead to something that's cooked a little better and here I've, I've started to build out both the roof lines and you can see I'm getting a good match but also to build out some of that roof trim and again I'm coming right off of that drawn peak I'm not just picking off the photo I'm building everything off of the model that I already have <clears throat> and here's the model more or less <coughs> excuse me finished as uh, as I need it for for my needs this is gonna be sufficient um, I've got the uh, roof detail pretty much worked out and of course I can mirror that around to the other side and use that as my check as well. If I go into my photo match drawings I see that I'm starting to get a, a pretty good match on these views but as I go around, let me pick a different one, <clears throat> I go around to quite an oblique view I'm not quite getting the match I want on those windows. That's looking a little better. So again, you might be playing with this as you go along and some of the lack of matching, here's a great view that shows I'm starting to be pretty convinced that that wall is out of plumb. As I've drawn this model to be perfectly plumb and square, I can see how my theoretical uh, model diverges from the actual model. 
Now a photograph is a perspective view and if I were to measure this on the screen this dimension across the screen would be a much bigger number than this dimension across the screen. This would be narrower in the photograph but you can see that uh, the dimensions that I've laid on here those are actual dimensions not made up by me. I've measured what's there from there to there and I get you know two foot eight uh, as a dimension. So once you've keyed in the photograph to your SketchUp model, you can then use the photo match to start to measure features that maybe you weren't able to measure in the field. There are limitations. This isn't true photogrammetric software, but I have found that uh, using the photo match can be extremely helpful. Um, especially in uh, determining features that you're not able to measure in the field, uh, maybe building heights, roof pitches, a location of uh, a cupola, or the details of something like a cupola that maybe you can't get at. So used judiciously, it can be really incredibly helpful, uh, extra tool in your arsenal uh, to do documentation and also presentation drawings. I hope this has been of use. And uh, stay tuned. I'm sure there will be further developments both in uh, the SketchUp photo match feature and uh, other photogrammetric software that will become available. It's an expanding field and uh, I'm interested to see what comes next.